Hello there fellow FileMaker developers, this is Matt Petrowski. I create FileMaker tutorials over at FileMakerMagazine.com, but in this video I just wanted to show you a really quick little tip that I use in my Theme Studio product, and it basically deals with creating the types of gradients that you see in other solutions such as the Mac OIOS. Uh, iOS. You can see right here I've got this dual gradient right here where I have um, the lighter part and the darker part. Now this is uh, it's a glass effect and it's very subtle but you can do this with the Theme Studio pretty easily. All you have to do is create two different gradients instead of one gradient. Let's take a look at how we do this. Let's say for example in this design I had this gradient, I'll drag that off to the side, and I wanted to apply that to this particular area right here. Well, all I, ha all I have to do is, with the inspector on screen, I can see right there clearly that the height is 44, so no big deal. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to use my little uh, launch bar up here and divide 44 by 2, which really isn't that big of a deal, it's 22. So that means all I have to do over in my theme studio is go over to the gradients area and select here and either you have created a resource or maybe you haven't, doesn't really matter, you're going to use the gradient. Now remember the height is going to be half of whatever your total height of your bar is. So here we're going to go from, I'm going to select white and then just copy that over and I forgot what direction that was in but Let's just drag it over just to take a look and see it's in the wrong orientation. So we will switch over again and we'll change the angle to 270. There we go and we're going to give this a little bit harder. Now depending on your background object, if it's a very dark color, you don't need as much opacity set or if it's a very light one, you're going to need a lot heavier amount. So. In this situation, I'm going to set a, an amount of 60, and then I will drag that over, and that will put it right there, and all I have to do is shove that up to the top of my object, and now all I have to do is the um, darker version. So I would save this as the top half of the gloss if I ever wanted to reload it by clicking this button right here, which would reload my settings so that I could slightly adjust the opacity. In fact, it's no big deal. I'll save it right here. Um, I, I already, this was created in another uh, version, so I'm not going to be able to add this. But if you had created your own resource, you would be able to save it. So let's go ahead and do the dark version now. I will simply switch to my grays, set black, copy that black over, and then this. The black, you want a very subtle amount. So anywhere from 10 to 15. So, and I'll change this to a 90 degree angle now, and I'll drag this over to my FileMaker layout. And then this one, I will simply select and orient to the bottom. I can left align both of those. And you can see that I basically get a little bit of my gloss effect right there. Now, that looks like this is a little uh, too strong in this particular case. I would lighten this up in order to get that effect. But that's how easy it is to achieve that. Now let me show you one other tip that I like using and that is divider lines. So watch this, I've got this sort bar right here and I wanna add some divider lines. Now currently you can see that I have, if I zoom in, I have a little bit of a highlight, a frost, but I don't have a shadow on this particular object. I'm going to go over here and I'm simply going to set my width to one of pixels. And then here, just depending on what you wanna do, you can go um, from 20 to 20. So basically what I have now is I have a translucent black line. I'll select my original object, look at the height. This one happens to be 28. We can see that right there underneath my cursor. Go back over to the theme studio. So I'm gonna get a 28 bar. Now sometimes what you wanna do is you wanna omit the top and the bottom. So I would go in this case 26. And if I could type the right number there, 26. And so now with this bar, I simply drag this over. FileMaker will place it. Hopefully I can grab it. There we go. It's a matter of selecting that. And then aligning that to the bottom and pushing it up one. So you can see right now I have my um, darker bar. Let's tab that down by one pixel. Um, all I need is the lighter ver uh, version. In fact, I'll select that again and we'll bump it down one more. And so now all I have to do is go over to the Theme Studio again and create the light version. So I would save this as the dark version of the highlight and then I will go in and I will set the white. 
copy that over and this one I might bump up to say 30 and 30 pixel uh, 30 opacity on that and here I'll just drag this over and now I have my white version of this bar and what I'm going to get depending on where I put it is my divider bar so I line both of those and then I group them and there we go all I have to do then is option drag and I can have as many of those divider bars as I want and whatever the underlying object is you can see that no matter what color it is as I switch my color to say a red those divider bars still work those highlights and uh, shadows have an opacity setting that allow you to change this to whatever color you want in the background very cool and just another way that you can use the theme studio enjoy and happy file making